Yeah. No, wait, what? Wait. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> Happy birthday, everybody. Welcome to Seriously, where we take cereals seriously. My name is Alex, and one day I was working on a project with five or six coworkers when suddenly one of them screamed that a squirrel had run into the building. She kept screaming and started chasing it, and it was instant pandemonium. Uh, all of us were up and jumping on chairs and running and screaming and chasing this girl who was chasing this squirrel. That went on for like 20 minutes of pure fun. Running amok and screaming and people spotting it and chasing it and it was just madness. <laughs> it was some of the most fun I've ever had as an adult. Finally, after about 20 minutes, that same girl announced that she saw the squirrel run back out. Only then, out of breath and full of joy and the fun of the adventure, I was able to admit that I had never actually even seen a squirrel. <laughs> I wasn't chasing anything. I just liked running around and being crazy with my nice coworkers. It was a great day. If you've ever taken an opportunity to spaz out and run around just for the sake of pure fun, I'd love to hear about it down in the comments. Today on Seriously, we are finally getting around to one of the most special times in the annual cereal calendar. Yes, with Halloween right around the corner, it is time to bust out the annual Halloween Monster Cereals from General Mills. Since 1974, these cereals have become holiday classics. It all started with the big two, Count Chocula and Frankenberry. They actually debuted in March, not connected to Halloween at all. <laughs> in fact, I read that they were available year round until 2009, only then becoming an annual holiday limited run. Can that be true? General Mills says that's true, that's crazy. Now I'm glad that they have found this special Halloween home. It fits them very well. I'll show you the selection of what we're gonna be eating in just a minute, but before we get there, I do wanna make mention of all the other Halloween cereals that are out there. Even General Mills themselves, apart from the classic monsters, also makes Halloween versions of Reese's Puffs and Lucky Charms at least. Then there are Halloween colored Fruity Pebbles from Post, there is milk color changing Captain Crunch from Quaker, and I cannot resist mentioning that there was also last year's Hocus Pocus cereal, one of my top favorites from 2022. And then there are special spooky versions of many Kellogg's favorites, Rice Krispies, Apple Jacks, and more with absolutely beautiful artwork this year, really impressive stuff. And then there is one additional fun one this year from Kellogg's, Charlie Brown's The Great pumpkin cereal, but we're not even going to review any of those today because we simply don't have the time. The real focus has to remain on the classic monster cereals because there are tons of them and even a new monster introduced just this year. So give me a second to collect them all for us and we're going to explore them together. All right, I am ready to pull out the incredible selection of monster cereals that we have for today. First, this year's version of the granddaddies of them all. We have got Count Chocula and Frankenberry. Now next in line, the most famous has to be this, Boo Berry. Then I have one that was saved from last year. It wasn't actually released this year. Here's what it's called, Fruit Brute. Now that's not all. This year, there has been, like I said, a new monster added with her own cereal. This year it is Carmella Creeper. This is caramel apple flavored, caramel apple flavored. Now this is not the first ever caramel apple flavored cereal that have been caramel apple jacks in the past. And then even further back, there were caramel apple fruity boulders instead of fruity pebbles. That's nuts. But this seems like a great new addition. But that's not even all. There is one more cereal that debuted last year, which ties it all together. Here's what it is. It's called Monster Mash. <laughs> it's everybody that has existed. It even has one last one that they, we don't have a full box of today because it hasn't been around for years, Yummy Mummy. And we're probably not going to open these because this year they made an updated version of that cereal called Monster Mash Remix, which includes Carmella Creeper. This is too much. I want to try all of these. <laughs> and on top of that, I want to actually mix these all together and make an actual Monster Mash 
Remix. Because remember, these classic General Mills monster cereals, I think, are only getting more classic. They're more rare than they have ever been, only showing up around Halloween every year, and there are more of them than ever before. This has moved both to a scarcity and an overabundance model. We have the perfect cereal version of when it rains, it pours. What do you think? Will all or any of these turn out to be the most sincere cereal of the year, or will they be more tricks than treats? Friends, it's time to eat some cereal. All right, everybody, I think I am ready. I have got my bowl, a big stack of bowls, <laughs> got my spoon. And listen, today is the day. <laughs> I'm a changed man. I think we are going to begin today with our six weeks of this is 1% milk. Now it's hidden in kind of a cute blue, which looks like skim, my precious skim milk. But I, I want to uh, honor the, the journey that I'm on. And I think that we will try this for the next many weeks, whether that's six or a different number of weeks. I don't know what I'm talking because we have so much cereal to get into today. So let's just dive in. Count Chocula again, the man of the hour. This is definitely the most recognizable. Uh, he is the one that people think of first when they think of these cereals. Let's see how they look this year. All right, well, they started off as a different shape when they were first created. I don't know if you knew that. It was like a circle with a cross in it. Not a cross, but an X in it. Um, and these same looking, actually they may have been round marshmallows. But now, I think all of these are the ghost version. I gotta say, lots and lots and lots of marshmallows in there. We're gonna do the thing where we pour them all out, take a look at them even before we start taste testing. So, let's get to the next one here. Frankenberry. Very nice bags. That's good so far. Ooh, a vibrant pink. Maybe not as many marshmallows, but these are very interesting and colorful. All right, next we've got Boo Berry. Uh, for some reason, I remember this one going away for a while and then coming back. I'd have to look up and see if that's true, but he's back now, and he's definitely third in the order of importance. Oh my gosh, like butter these bags. Oh, I don't even have a bowl ready. Ooh, different than I thought. These are a dark purple color. Again, back to many marshmallows, which I'm very happy with, but I'm surprised that these aren't more blue, seeing how vibrant that these pink ones are, that these Frankenberry ones are. All right, next, let's do this. We got, this is from last year. So this one's gonna get a little bit of a pass if it looks different or it, it, it doesn't taste as good. Um, it just went off of its Best Buy date. So we're not like gonna poison ourselves here. We've proven many times on the channel that it's okay to eat slightly expired cereal. But let's take a look at Fruit Brute. Wow. It looks very similar in vibrancy to the Frankenberry cereal, but it's not as shiny, and it just smelled fruity right off the bat. My understanding is that Fruit Brute and Yummy Mummy were actually the same cereal, just different names. I'm not sure if that's true either. Should have done more research before this one. All right, now we got this year's Carmella. Uh, uh, finally, uh, a female touch is brought to all of this. She is sort of Bride of Frankenstein-ish, but she doesn't belong to Frankenstein, friends. She's an independent woman. Uh, Carmella Creeper with her Caramel apple flavor. Let's take a look at these. Oh man, these look amazing. Super weird, vibrant, almost neonish green ghost pieces in there. Lots of colorful marshmallows. Holy cow, they nailed it with kind of a creepy green Halloween look on these. Boy, I hope these end up tasting good because they look phenomenal. Finally, let's get one more bowl going. Uh-oh, where did you come from? Yeah, okay, for this Monster Mash Remix cereal. I got this, I think, from Walmart. Uh, and look, look at how badly printed it is. I don't know if you don't know if you can tell there, but it's very non-dark. It's like their printer was off, uh, off its game that day. But that's okay, let me try this. It can't really be all of them, can it? That would be what I want, all of them mixed together, but I just know that that probably won't be the case. <laughs> well, it's more of a mix than I thought, color-wise. 
it definitely looks like a combination. There's at least visibly the Carmella Crunch and the Booberry ones. I, of course, there does look like there are some of the Count Chocula, but that can't be true, can it? In the sense of like, they're not gonna also mix chocolate flavor into any of this. Uh, I wish they would. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I did bring one more bowl. This is gonna be gross to somebody. I'm just gonna use my hand. I'm gonna mix these all together and then see what they actually would look like if it was a mix. So let me do that. Sorry, I'm putting my hand into my food. That's just the way it goes. My hand, my food, I do whatever I want. <laughs> Yes, yes. All right, now let's stir this all up together and compare them. Yeah, you know what they're missing is the pink, the red. Why didn't they add that? They, they really seem to be representing the other cereals quite well, because maybe it's the mix of the green and the purple that actually results in this kind of brownish piece. So that might be a happy accident that it kind of looks at the, looks like the Count Chocula, but it is very evident they just need another line that's dumping in some pink ones, and then they would have completely nailed this true mix. So here we have it, folks, all of the different varieties in one place. I feel like this is successful enough. Now, we're gonna jump straight to trying these in milk. I don't have time to, in my life, I'm a busy guy. I have projects, I have people waiting for me. None of that's true, but I don't wanna waste anybody else's time. So we're gonna jump straight to the milk phase, put several of these to the side, and we are gonna try them one by one with some milk. It's interesting that I'm gonna start with Count Chocula because I feel like that's the most different one. All the rest of these are some variation on a fruity flavor, although caramel apple kind of blends that line. But Count Chocula, he's in a class of his own with a chocolatey type of cereal. Let's give that a try. It was great. It is not a complex chocolate. There's not a deep or rich chocolate, very surfacey. Um, but the, the pieces, the cereal pieces really surprised me. I actually expected them to be more flimsy. Oftentimes in movie connected cereals or kids connected cereals for pop culture. They're very flimsy cereal pieces. These are one step above that. There is some, I was gonna say girth. There is some good crunch to it. There's some good uh, substance to it that makes it hardier than I would have expected. Not hardy, but it is hardier than uh, the fluff that it could have been. So one more bite of this. For a once a year treat, this is fantastic. The marshmallows especially really help it out, really make it taste wonderful. I want one big marshmallow bite. So great. That really is a classic of the cereal world. I'm so happy for it. Now let's go to Frankenberry cereal, put some milk on it. Not as many marshmallows in this than the other bowls that I've poured of the other monster cereals. So let's see if that hurts it. Let's try this. Mm. Strong berry taste very fun and fruity. Like I said, not as many marshmallows. I wish there were more because the marshmallow or two that I had in that first bite were fantastic. <laughs> um, let, let me try one more bite here. Let me check, are these supposed to be a certain berry? Yeah, these are supposed to be strawberry flavor. Actually, I'm just noticing it looks like he has done his nails and they're like strawberry <laughs> nails. <laughs> what an unneeded detail, but they really went for it. That's great in this new render that they've got uh, for this year of him. Um, it tastes strawberry-ish. It's totally a fine cereal. In sequence, let's try the Booberry cereal, which is definitely intended to be blueberry, but like I said, very dark color, very purplish, almost grape-ish look for what is supposed to be a blueberry flavor. Let's try it. Hmm. I'm sure this is not true. I'm sure that they're all exactly the same grains in the cereal part. This one seemed less substantial, seemed more frothy of a cereal, more like a puff Cheeto or something uh, type of flimsiness to it. Let's try one more bite and let's try it again. It's still very good. <laughs> I still really like it, but let's move on. It does taste somewhat blueberry-ish. Let's try these. What are these supposed to be? Fruit Brute. What flavor are we actually going for? Cherry. Did you know that? That Fruit Brute is intended to be a cherry flavor? I didn't remember that being the case. Let's give it a try. There's some milk in it. Let's go for it. Mmm, 
after two berry flavors, strawberry and then blueberry, this cherry flavor really has a pop to it. Now, this one's not available this year. This is a year old cereal, still tastes fantastic. Again, don't worry about the expiration date. If you got one of these laying around, <laughs> you can still totally eat it. This one is very tangy and light and fun. I would put this above blueberry. I've kind of got my outline going here. I would put Count Chocula, Frankenberry, uh, then Fruit Brute from last year, which doesn't exist anymore, and then blueberry. Now it is time, my friends. Now it is time for Carmella Crunch. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the monster world, uh, Carmella. Although I suppose you were a monster before, you just hadn't made a cereal? What's the story there? Let's give this a try. I expect this to be quite different because it is not only fruit, although it has apple, but it has caramel, it says. So let's get some marshmallows mixed here and let's get to trying this thing. This has zero depth of flavor to it. It is the most uh, easiest version of caramel apple they could have come up with. It sort of tastes like that. I get what they're going for, but if you're looking for something rich, something has a, a, a deepness or a, a gravity to it, this is not a cereal for you. It's not even at the level of like, you know those caramel apple lollipops or suckers, I don't know what you call them in your part of the country, where they're apple flavor on the outside and then there's caramel in the middle? Even those are like a mature palate uh, would appreciate those compared to these, which is like <laughs> barely their type of flavor. It's still fun. It, it is so underwhelming that I think they played it safe. I think they could have gotten a little more zingier, a little more of the contrast between the sour apple and the sweet uh, of the caramel, but they didn't. <laughs> and it's just a kid version of those flavors. So I would put this one pretty low. I'm gonna try one more bite. It's not bad. Uh, it gets major points for that vibrant green, but it's, it's not. <laughs> anything you should rush out and get. All right, let's try the official. This is the official Monster Mash remix uh, that supposedly represents everything that they've ever done uh, packed into one. I think that's such a fun idea. Uh, let's give it a try. <laughs> this is just the most nondescript flavor ever. I was saying that the Caramel, Carmella Creeper, apple, Caramel Apple flavor was not much depth to it. This, this is like, they literally could just label this flavor. I don't even know if it claims to be fruit flavor. Berry flavored, it says. Yeah, right. <laughs> it doesn't even taste berry flavor. It just tastes like sweet cereal flavor, if that was even a thing. They're making almost all of these. What would happen if they just mixed them, at least the fruity ones, then you'd have a little splash of blueberry. Little, well, I, I don't need to wonder. I did it myself. So that was nothing. <laughs> Just like sweet cereal. This is true Monster Mash remix. As close as you can get without going back in time many years to get Yummy Mummy. This is truly all of the Monster individual cereals mixed together. Let's see what that's going to taste like. way better than that. Like, I don't understand. They have these, most of these going on their own separate lines. Why don't they just get like a trough from each one shooting into a big pile? <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's too hard, although I have no idea about cereal manufacturing, so that might be an impossible thought. But the, this tastes great. And I actually do like the little hint of chocolate it has in it. Yum. It brings out the individual flavors so well. <laughs> It's really enjoyable. I know not everyone wants to spend their money this way, wants to go out and buy six different boxes of cereal, but you should. If you want to have fun, <laughs> you should do this. This is the most enjoyable one of all of the bunch. Let me take one more bite just to really solidify things in my mind. This is the one. <laughs> all right, let's go down the list. Let's talk about them. Let's see what we think. Get them all back here. Come back, everybody. All right, let's give these some reviews. Out of five, here's what I would give them. Count Chocula, a solid four. Very nice. Uh, again, these are all kid, just limited edition, fun having at the holiday cereal, so don't expect as rich chocolatiness as some of the other major chocolate cereals that are out there, but this holds its own. 
You should get this at Halloween. Very fun for your kids. Four to five. Frankenberry, only slightly less. As far as the fruity one goes, I think this one captures all of those, and Frankenberry, I would say, give it a 3.5 out of four. Next one we have is the Fruit Brute. Wasn't available <laughs> this year, but last year, I'm still eating it from last year. That, am I right? Am I mixing these two up? Now they look so similar to me that I don't know what to think. Uh, let me just get one bit of the Fruit Brute out. Yeah, no, wait, what? Wait. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> fruit Brute is next in line, and even just tasting that little bit of cherry, I do like that it's cherry. Uh, that one's really fun. I'm going to stay at the three range for this. So we got four, 3.5, three. Then it drops a little bit for me, to be totally honest. Booberry is a 2.5. I think the same thing about Carmela Crunch. Again, those are not bad, uh, but those are not, they won't even have the fun of the season. Maybe give Carmela Crunch a few more years uh, to get her legs under her. And then we've got Monster Mash Mix. That's the lowest for me. <laughs> they just didn't do it. I think the box, the idea, is way better than the execution. And so I would give this a two, if even. But then, friends, we have got the overall winner for sure, which is to say, mix all of them together. Make a true Monster Mash Mix. I, I say that's back up to a four. So fun. And you might think, oh, the caramel apple or the chocolate would take away and be weird with the fruitiness. It's not. They're all so minorly flavored anyway <laughs> that it does not overwhelm. It, it looks fantastic in the bowl, all of the different colors together, and it just tasted like a million bucks. So again, start with the Count Chocula every year. That is just a classic. You will love it. It will taste like your childhood <laughs> and be fantastic. Then go on to the more berry-ish, fruity-ish type of cereals. But the real winner, obviously, is the mix. Do this. Maybe just take one and do this, but if you want to be a fun and interesting person, do all of them in one bowl. Your friends and family will think you're clever and neat, and they will all say happiest of Halloween wishes to you, and you will be so happy this holiday season. <laughs> this is the one to try. Well, friends, we have done it all. We talked, we ate, we put so much spooky cereal in my body that I don't think I'll be able to fit into my slim good body costume this year. <laughs> and now it's enough. Remember, I don't even know what numbers we gave them, but here is the ranking that we gave them. Number one, Count Chocula. Number two, Frankenberry through Fruit Brute. <laughs> Number three, Carmella Creeper. Just not that great. <laughs> Uh, it's fine. Definitely try it if you want. But And then much, much lower is this monster mix because it's not really a mix. Number absolute one plus would be mixing them all together because that was such a blast. If you want to try today's cereals for yourself, uh, so many of these are on store shelves now and will soon go back into their coffins and dens or other hiding places <laughs> for another year. So you should probably go get them. But listen, if you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and then Leave a comment with what cereal we should look at together in a future episode. Until then, never be soggy, my friends. Bye bye